Hey, it's Dina Kalana, and today I'm going to show you how to easily create a photo collage using Canva. Now, if you're um, if you're not familiar with Canva yet, I'll have a link in the description below, and you can click on there and quickly download that. There's a free version, and there's also a paid version. And the link in my description is an affiliate link, so I will make a small commission if you click through that and subscribe but you can get the free version it won't cost you a penny and it's super powerful and it has a lot of capabilities that will help you out in your design aspects you can create photo collages for your social media posts you can do it for printing out to put in a frame you could do it for a quilt there are just so many options like photo collages are so much fun to use so it's pretty simple we're going to actually go up you can see here it says photo collage and it has dimensions already in there for you. That looks like a postcard size. So what we're gonna do is go up to create a design. Okay, now you can go to create a design and it has photo collage, but it's gonna be a specific size. So I'm gonna make my own precise size that I want and go to the, and go up to the turquoise button and click create a design. And then after that, click Custom Dimensions. So I'm going to do a classic uh, paper size, 8.5 by 11 inches. So I'm going to, oh, I need to type that in again. It didn't load for some reason. 8.5 by 11 inches. You can change it from inch, inches to pixels to millimeters or centimeters here on the right-hand side in this drop-down menu. Then just click create a design and here's your page. So you want to add some photos to this, right? So we're going to scroll over to the left and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the eighth icon down on the left hand side says uploads. Click on that and then scroll up to the top where it says upload an image or video, the turquoise button here. So then you're going to want to scroll through your pictures. And these are just stock photos I got from Pexels. I'm not going to put my own family in this video. And then you just grab the picture and drag it over to the canvas. Now, if you want to resize this image, you click on it and it puts up four little dots around each corner. And all you do is grab it with your mouse and you can make it bigger and smaller. And if you want to move the picture, you click on it with your mouse and you can move it wherever you like. So let's go back up and we'll put some more images in our collage. Click upload an image or video. And we are going to pick this lady on the computer. This isn't going to be a great design, but I just want to give you the basics. So to bring it over, you click on the picture in the uploads area and drag it over to your canvas and you can resize it and move it around. So let's do a couple more images. We'll pick this couple here. It downloads the picture here to the left. You just grab that picture and bring it over here to the collage. If you want to resize it, click it until the little round circles come up and then you can just grab the corner with your mouse, click it once and make it go forward or and then make it go bigger and smaller. Now let's say you want to have this couple picture behind the lady with the computer. You'll simply right click with the mouse and click send it backward. Or if you want to bring it back to the front, click bring it to the front and it'll put that picture in front of the woman in the computer. Let's go ahead and upload another image. We'll upload this lady and you drag it over to here. And that's it. You just simply grab and drag the images that you want and move them wherever you like. You can also see when you click on a picture, it pulls up these little arrows in a curve below it and you can actually turn the picture sideways. You can turn them upside down, any angle that you want. And simply drag and drop and move them around. Now let's say you want to add some words to this. You can see this guy's in the back. I want to bring him to the forward front and then make that picture a little bit smaller. 
Now you might want to add some words to your collage. So we're going to go over to the left hand side and go to the fourth icon down and click text. And here you can search. You can find any of these pre-designed layouts and these are really great for social media posts. You can click those or you can add a heading and then you simply um, highlight the words in the image box or the text box, delete it and add your own words. And then you can click off of it and then you can click back on the words and then you can move them wherever you want. You can make them bigger. We'll delete this one. You can also highlight the words in your text block. You can come up here where it says the font type and you can change it to any of these types over here on the left hand side. You can click on those with the mouse, but you have to make sure the words are highlighted. Scroll down, you can make it any of these different fonts. Then if you want to change the color, highlight and go up here to the top where it has the A with a little rainbow underneath. And then you can click new color and you can pick any color that you want to make. You can put in a hex code or simply click on this little rainbow here to choose any of the colors. You can make it bigger. Let's make this one say family. And let's make it in a cursive. Oh, that's pretty messy. This one looks pretty nice. You can also highlight it and make it um, you can highlight it and some of the fonts you can make bold. You can underline them. That specific font doesn't have a bold option, but a lot of them do. So let's, let's change that font one more time. Let's see if we can find um, a, pretty them one, a pretty one that I like. Let's go for Madeline. It doesn't have a bold option either. This monument, the monument font, you can highlight the word family, click the B on the top and it'll make it a bold font. You can also underline it. You can center it. You can make it go left to the right. So these are the basics of making a photo collage. Now there's another thing you can do. Let's say you want to add a background color to this. You want to stay away from these blocks around the pictures and the um, around the pictures and the font and click on the background where it's just white and then this little rainbow square pops up to the top left click on that you can add new color and make the background any color that you like all right we'll make it gray now there's another thing you can do you can go to the left hand side and also click background so it has a lot of backgrounds you can choose from already. There's patterns, brick walls, uh, gradients. There are just tons of different designs. There's food, textures, a peacock. Pretty cool, right? We're going to keep it simple. We'll make it yellow. Now what you'll want to do if you want to print this out. Oh, I want to show you one more thing. You can also add um, elements to this. So go over to the left hand side and click elements. And then there is, oh, this might be for pro version only. But if you do have the pro version, you can also um, add different designs like this heart. We could put some hearts on here, move them at an angle. And then this one actually allows you to change the color. So we're going to make it pink and all you do is highlight the image that's an element and click on these little color boxes up in the top hand side and we'll make that red. Let's say you want to have two of these hearts. All you have to do is right click and click copy and then right click and hit paste and then you can have a heart on both sides of the word family. Now we can also right click and paste. You can make these smaller. 
You can click these two little arrows together, move them around. You can paste another one in and make that one smaller. Pretty simple, right? And now if you want to print this or save it into your computer, you go up to the right hand side and click download. Now if you want to put as, as a PNG, that will have a clear background. But this isn't clear, it has yellow. So if you aren't printing this, you can do compress file and that would be for web use only. If you want to keep it as a high quality file, make sure this is not checked. Now, if you want to print um, a high quality image, you can download it as a PDF um, or a JPEG. So if you want a high quality image, you can also print it as a PNG and that's what's suggested. So we're going to go for that and then click, uh, then click download. And this is going to download it into your computer. I'm not sure, um, probably your downloads file. In my computer, you can see here, it's down on the bottom left hand side. I can click on that and it's going to open up this newly designed graphic that I just made. All right, and now we can go to file and we can print that. We can go to uh, file and we can save that. I'm going to show you how to put it onto your desktop. Let's go to um, File and Export. Now, what I want to do is I want to make this saved on my desktop into a new folder. So I'm going to scroll down to the left and click Desktop. And then I'm going to click New Folder. And then I'm going to name this folder Canva um, Collages and then click Create. And then I'm going to title this Heart uh, Collage with Hearts and then click Save. Then we can minimize or X out of those windows. We'll just minimize those. And then we should see on the desktop, look here, it says Canva Collages. And that's easy to find when you save it straight to your desktop. Now people recommend not storing um, images on your desktop all the time because it can make your computer run a little slower and bog down the memory a little bit. But it makes it really easy to find and it's good if um, you have trouble finding your folders. But now you've seen how I created a folder and I can easily and quickly find it on my desktop. So we're going to X out of that. And I'm going to open up um, Canva again. I'm going to click Continue Editing. Now you can also click Share. If you have a team, you can share it with your team and you can type in an email. And I'm going to email it to myself. Okay, so I want to show you another thing you can do. You can click the Down arrow here on the top right side. You can post it to Facebook, Twitter. You can click show more. You can add it to Facebook group, put it in Dropbox, Pinterest, and it'll go straight from Canva to your social media. Or you can hit print. You can share the link. You can email it to somebody. And then you just click send. And that is all for today. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. And now you know exactly how to easily and quickly create a photo collage with your own images. Now, if you like this video, please leave a comment in the uh, comment section below if you'd like to see any more Canva tutorials and what you would like to learn. And please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.